I started this job when I was 22, and I am not 22 anymore. <laughs> the journey that I've been on with Daenerys, it's sharpened me as an actor, and because of the heights that she goes to, it's forced me to find them within myself. And so anytime anything good or bad happens, you put it into her. So Daenerys is a tapestry of my entire adult life. Within each major scene of Daenerys is every major scene of my life. <laughs> Set. Oh my god, I fell off a fucking horse. <laughs> Jesus, this is my first job. This is like the first thing I ever did, and they stuck me on a horse. Oh, in a bamboo field in Belfast, and it's raining. I was falling off the horse trying to act still. Wow. A Khaleesi. Okay, <laughs> and I remember just being hanging on for dear. I mean, literally, I'm like hanging on like this, and I'm hanging on for dear life, and I just remember shouting. Please stop filming! And I'm like, okay, everything's gonna be fine. Turn around and I'm like, oh my god, there's like the whole crew, and I just cried. So that was my first day on Game of Thrones. That was it. That was hey mom I had a really good day. I had more spine tingly, goosebump, joyful, punch the air, yay days on this show than anything in my life. That's the thing about Danny. Every season she gets better, every season there's something else bigger than the last season and better than the last season. Go back, ladies! Season three, getting the unsullied, was the first time that I, Amelia, got to be, you know, like, bitch and badass. Nige Daenerys Jel Masmo Hentar Gary Olentra. Dracaris. Uh, it was really cool. <laughs> it rubs off on you as an actor, you just you feel it. I have had to stand up and, and be Daenerys. In all of these moments, I've had to stand on that rock and speak to a lot of people in a crazy language. Hashiri Vajira Hashi Sandali! Hashiri Manhan! Fuck! Fucked up all of my Dothraki! It's been a challenge. But you just have to, like, you just have to grow a pair and do it. Leaving this show is leaving a part of me. The people are just, can I take Peter? Can I take Natalie? Can I take them all? How can I rule seven kingdoms if I can't control Slaver's Bay? Why should anyone follow me? You're a Targaryen. You're the mother of dragons. There's an ease that I get with acting with Ian Glenn because he's been my pal the whole time. There's been my one, my buddy. Shambles, John, and shambles. Ian was, is an incredible actor and he is an incredible mentor. He's just helped me as a person on a really real level. I'm gonna start to cry, this is ridiculous. This is always a safe space. We can have fun and we can take the piss out of each other and we can support each other and we can laugh at each other's jokes or we can laugh at each other's bad moods or we can, it's a family, it's an absolute family. There's no ego, there's no, we're in it together and I'm never gonna get that again. The show, Game of Thrones, has set me free. It's literally given me my freedom as a human being and as an actor and as a woman. I've been able to play this incredibly strong woman when I could have very easily never thought of the places that I had to go to with her, the strength that I had to find to play her, and then seeing that I had that strength myself. And that's a really big deal. And these guys have taken care of me so much and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm really lucky I get to have it documented. <laughs> um, and I'll just be forever grateful to everyone who makes Game of Thrones for giving me something really special.